Greetings friends and welcome to Enigma Night Gaming. My name is Liara and I will be your guide in today's adventure. Today we're playing Tangle Tower and in today's episode we're hopefully going to be wrapping up the mystery of who exactly killed Freya Fellow. Now today we're going to start by unlocking the code at the fountain. We finally got all four musical keys that we needed. So let's go ahead and hop in and see what that reveals to us. All right, so it is now time let's to try this examine again. this. All right. So now you we know, have we all of this. Solve this now. Yes, we have all four pieces now. So this one is for we we just need to match them now right uh, that one goes there and then this one goes here right that's gotta be right i would think nothing really maybe it's broken mm. wait do you hear that let's listen something happened what happened? Oh, the K, the mouth. Where do you think it goes? Oh my. Down. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going down. Oh boy. The mysterious final area. Let's see. We have underneath. Oh boy. <laughs> underneath Tangle Tower. What? What even kind of laboratory is this? But let's look at what we got here. There's a note. What's in there? Yeah, let's take a look at this. It looks like we got the beetles, right? It's a little diagram of a beetle with some incomprehensible notes scribbled next to it. Okay. That's weird. What? It looks really normal. Normal? Compared to the beetles behind the glass. Oh, I guess. What's with all the beetles? Nine beetles. All different, all dead. Mm-hmm. Poor little guys. But, like... Now, there's a bunch of notes written all around them. Right? It's mostly numbers. No idea what they mean. So, like, this one looks like a gemstone, right? It's so, so interesting. Like, I don't know what the deal with this is. But maybe we'll figure it out. We've got some books. Forensic Entomology, Volume 3. Okay. That's an incredibly specific area of study. This had to be for Freya, right? We've got some vials over here. It looks like they're being boiled. But the liquid is ice cold. Interesting. What's down here? There's a crack. A cracked glass tank with nine little rooms. Huh. Each one has one or two insects inside. Interesting. I can't tell if they're still alive. I like that you called them rooms. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got the lights up here. Bugs. Big ones. Oh, those are... Oh, I thought they were lights. Whoops. <laughs> Looks like they're made of metal. We have metal bugs up here. My bad. A single candle. A candle. Perched on a barrel. Very medieval. Oh, boy. I was thinking pirates. Medieval pirates. <laughs> Okay, um, we've got some scrolls over here. What a mess. Any idea what this is all about? Nope. Let's move the papers, maybe? Okay, so we've got... What are these? Is that a periodic table? Maybe? No. But this looks... But this it like... does kind of look like one. Yeah, we got like bugs on here. What are those symbols? Oh, what if this is like some all kind, kind of, of alchemy? Yeah, alchemy symbols, right? Okay. Mostly based on the planets, the sun, the moon, stuff like that. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So I wonder if like this is like combining stuff. This looks like Greek over here. Greek letters. This looks like it was drawn in a hurry. Didn't we see those same symbols in the greenhouse? Yes. Yes, we did. Reminds me of the chart from the library. Okay. The ones on the chalkboard. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Hmm. So how does all of this combine? So like this, are we able? 
Hmm, I wonder if there's a way we can combine them. So like we have A is 191, which combines with this symbol, which is number one, which is this. So I feel like these symbols could lead us, um, hmm, I'm not sure exactly what we do with that, but I think that is definitely a key, right? What is this over here? Is it locked? Seems likely, doesn't it? Let's see. Okay. We're safe. I'm pretty sure the latches can slide into the middle. Okay, diagonally slide the latches until they're in the correct position. Uh, what do we... Okay, we do... Oh, I see. Okay. Let's pull them out and see what lines up over what. Let's pull them all out so we can see what we're working with. Um, okay. Now, uh, this one... Where do we want it to go? I'm not sure yet, but I feel like this one definitely wants to go here. Maybe this one goes down like this. Hmm. Maybe it goes up like this. Perhaps maybe down a little so it lines up better. We can go we can go across like this. What else can we do? That's about all we can do. So I think it goes it could go down even. That may be it. Maybe it goes down. Uh, down again. All right. Um, if we do this, though, it goes nowhere. We need to lead it here, I believe. So we can also work from this direction. Okay. But where do we want it to go to? That's a good question. It's got to be something that we do with this. And that's the only option. So I feel, I feel like blue and orange are probably right because we've tried several different options and they're just not working. Uh, what do we do with this one? Perhaps this. This seems to make sense. Uh, and we move it over just enough so it goes down, right? And then we're going to have to figure out something here. It comes down here. And then it's got to go up like this, but that's the wrong direction, right? We don't want it to go that direction. What if we went it this direction? Can we do anything with this? Maybe there's another... Okay, if we pull this all the way down. So let's make sure we're still following our path. We're still following it okay. Uh, and then if we do that, then it just goes off into nowhere land, right? Uh, what if okay what if we do this we come down here and then what then it goes down here okay i think we're making progress all right let's this might be it let's see let's follow the path so we go here across down over i think this might be it let's That's see the one all right hey, not bad all right, we did it. Anything inside? Yeah, more research. Okay. What is this? A folder containing research notes and diagrams. Uh, our unique flora and fauna is the byproduct of a number of as yet unidentified chemicals. These chemicals are continually present in the water, filling, forming clouds and filling the lake. This causes a variety of mutations in plants and animals. Uh, smaller creatures such as arachnids, insects, mollusks, and amphibians and crustaceans are the most affected. However, the chemicals may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Interesting. 
Okay. We have, what, a new piece of evidence? Whose research is this? Is it Freya's? Huh. I'm wondering if it might be Freya's. We also have this trap door. It's a hatch. But we're already in the basement. Right? Where does it go? Depends on your perspective. Let's not go down just yet. Okay. We still haven't explored this room properly. Right. Okay. So let's hypothesize uh, with Sally about this is what some we think. Seriously, in-depth research. Right. It's impressive, but it's incomplete. There's a section missing. Yeah, there is. Okay. So let's figure it out. Do we know what goes there? Is it this golden beetle bit? I think it might be. Yeah, number four. I think that's what matches. Okay. Nice. So, this is Pointer's secret lab. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. Huh. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right. But if Pointer's the only one who comes down here, why would he need to lock his research in a safe? Who is he hiding it from? He's just paranoid. Especially about his golden beetle. What do you think huh. he's trying to do, exactly? Not sure. What is he trying to do with it? Uh, something. Was hiding from, has been trying to breathe. He may have been. Wasn't aware of, locked up, has been planning to kill. Okay, something. In the rooftop garden, in the greenhouse, in Flora's tower, in the underground laboratory, in the astronomy tower. Hmm. To... What would he be doing? Uh, Pointer has been trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory? Maybe? Let's see. Pointer has okay. been trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. All right. Why? Because it's rare? Because it's gold. Is that it? Maybe. I, so. I don't think he cares about entomology any more than he cares about astronomy. He just wants he money. He wants to get one over on Felix. If yeah, he can that breathe makes on sense. gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance is looking pretty... Uh... Infinite. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Might explain why he was so worried about losing the beetle. Maybe somebody did steal it. Might Maybe. have been Freya, after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret door in the garden. That's she true. She might not have known what was down here, though. Maybe hmm. she was just curious. Curious, Maybe? sure, but not naive. I reckon she knew what was going on. Now, hmm. I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's okay. no way this is all just about a beetle. Okay, what's it about? We're done. Ready to go down again? All right, I think we are. Let's go. We're down even farther now. Man, lowest level. What are we looking at here? Do these puddles worry you? Why? That's lake water. Oh. But it's indoors. Um. Ah, I see your point. And it's dripping from the ceiling? What's this over here? It's an old coat rack. Looks thoroughly neglected. Okay. Two cloaks and a green hat draped on top for good measure. Hmm. We got a chain here. Gives off kind of a dungeon vibe. Well, bet. What do people actually use chains for? Nothing good. Yeah? What in the world is this? Late. This photograph has been stabbed. <laughs> Why? By what? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. What is it a photograph of? We have a me oh, that goes to the hook. A sleek but sturdy metal rod it has been stabbed into a photograph. The rod has a curved and pointed tip like an arrow or the hand of a clock. It has a small loop at the back with a short length of red rope connected to it. The metal is perfectly clean and polished. Okay. So what's the photo? It's been framed but is slightly damp. The photograph shows a young girl. A large man is sitting next to her. Around them are several red and white birds. A metal object was stabbed into the photo, leaving a hole near the man's chest. Is this? Is this Flora's father? I mean, that looks like her, right? Do you know who it is in the photo? 
And she's with the ink dip birds? That's what I think. So let's this see. This man in the photo it looks like Flora. He reminds me of something from one of our clues. Okay, let's see. Um, which clue would it be? Um, I'm not sure. Do we have something over here? Let me look at this. So what does he remind us of? Maybe, oh, maybe it, is it this? Huh. Um, a model resembling a broad-shouldered man? Maybe. Oh, it's the green coat. Yeah, it does look like that. Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah, makes sense when you know who he is. Lord Fellow? Lord Remington? Lord Fellow. Her dad, right? Or her... Hmm, is he old enough to be her granddad? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's start with Lord Fellow and see if that's right. But I feel like it might be Lord Remington. Lord Fellow. Really? Wait, no. Hang on. It's gotta be Lord Remington, right? Lord Remington. Remington. That makes him Flora's father. Meaning the girl in the photo is... Yeah, it's her. See the bird, too. Okay. Never would have guessed. Times so, sure do change. I don't know. Okay. I don't think she looks so different. So I was right. It was her father. I just had the name wrong. Okay. So why do we have a picture with Flora's father stabbed in the There's a chest? There's up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Okay. Let me guess. Blank. Let's see. What is it? It's some map. Misted Mansion Northside Cross Section. Oh, it's this a map of the angle tower yeah library except for it's a lot shorter a bedroom the study the study's not there right like this room's not there we have the grand hall um we do have the aviary but yeah the towers aren't here storage it's freya's room okay then there's the, the library, library. The Grand Hall. Yeah? What's that thing in the middle? I think it's that big glass tube. Right? A bedroom. That's Fifi's room, isn't it? Yes. A bedroom. Penny's room, I think. Uh-huh. The music room. All right. It's the aviary. So we're missing, like, the outside of the garden and stuff, or the, uh, the greenhouse? Garden. Well, that name makes a little more sense in this context. Yeah, it does. Study. Wait. There's no study. I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. Right. How did we miss it? Exactly. And then down here? That's the room we're in now. It must be. It's not labeled as anything on these plans, though. Uh -huh. I think it already existed when this was made. It's the room above us. The one we were just in. Right? The laboratory? Yeah. What is the deal with this? So, like on stilts? the whole house is built on top of some kind of platform. Exactly? Apparently. Huh. Interesting. Why is it called Misted, Misted Mansion? Misted Mansion. North Side Cross Section. Is it not Tangle Tower? That's what I'm wondering. Like, Tangle this is. Tower. Before the towers? Exactly. Exactly. That's so. Huh. This seems pretty significant. Yes, I agree. <laughs> All right. So we have the building plans, a roll of parchment on which the plans for a grand mansion have been drawn. A horizontal line marks where the lake was before, and a second marks where it is now. The mansion has been built on a top of a large structure above the lake, supported by pillars. Freya's room is listed as storage. A room labeled study is in the center. All right. Um, and now we have this book. A single book on a little makeshift table. This is creeping me out slightly. 
A little bit. Why? <laughs> I think it's a children's book. Um, what? It's got the ink dip. The Amphibi, the ink dip, the soul bear, the silver snake. Mistids of the Sea and Sky, a children's picture book. It looks very old. So the ink dip was from a children's book. It's an elegant bird with red and white plumage. The silver snake, an aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. I think we saw this statue where uh, Hawkshaw was, the soul bearer. A crab with three different sized claws. Uh, the amphobia, a frog-like creature walking on two legs. The, we've seen that guy a lot. Interesting. Um, anything else on the bookshelf? It's an empty bookcase. Something tells me it's been empty for a long time. Okay. What's in these boxes? Old cardboard boxes. How exciting. Oh boy. Oh, but there's more. Really? They're also damp. Oh, okay. And empty. <laughs> What's out the window? Basements don't normally have windows. Right? Or at the bottom of the lake. Oh. It must be. Right. Yeah, that's... But if that's the lake bed, why does it look like that? Mm. Like what? White, smooth, no plants, no anything. What is that's it? not what a lake looks like. Okay. Where are we? That's what I'm wondering. Where are we? Okay. Did you notice how much light this room has? For right. a room with one candle? Exactly. It's all coming through the window. I'm pretty sure lakes are supposed to be darker at the bottom, not lighter. Yeah. Why is there a room down here anyway? And why is it so much older than the rest of Tangle Tower? We huh. still don't really know why people came to live here in the first place. Maybe they right. just wanted to get rich, like Pointer with his beetles. I Maybe? feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake, for what was in it. It's empty, though. More empty than a normal lake would be. It is now, yeah. Maybe, Maybe it didn't used to late. be? Hmm. Okay. Let's head back up to the Grand Hall. I want to find that last room. Yeah, me too. I'm very curious what's up there. Alright, so what do we got? Wow, it's dark all of a sudden. Oh boy. How long were we down there? I have no idea. This must be it. This thing goes all the way up. Yeah? How are we supposed to get up there? That's what I'm wondering. Hang on. It's pitch black. But I think there's a switch. Well, we're definitely going to pull it and see what happens. Because you always pull weird levers, right? Ah, a ladder. Nice. We a got ladder. a ladder to go up. Want to go up? Definitely. All right. Now we got the study. The hidden heart. Oh, boy. Now we're going to find all kinds. Yeah, this looks more like the Remingtons for sure. You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. Right. <laughs> What's this picture of? Who are all the people in this photo? Not sure, but it looks like someone didn't like them very much. Their eyes have all been crossed out. Um, that's Penny. Or Poppy. Right? That's Poppy? I think? Maybe. A photograph in the, a sturdy wooden frame. It's dusty and looks several years old. A brass plaque at the base of the frame reads, The Ambassadors of Misted Mansion. The photo shows two women and three men wearing a variety of styles and clothing. Wait, maybe this is like Poppy's mom. Maybe. Yeah, it could be. Hmm. Interesting. That photo is important. I'm sure of it. Let's see what we what we know. The five people. Another photograph. Their faces are all crossed out with some kind of black ink. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, 
Something I just realized. Sally, did we meet any of these people here at Tango Tower? I think so. Well, the woman on the left looks a little like Poppy. Right. But her style is way different. Right. And at first, I thought the guy on the top right was Felix. Yeah, that's now what that I, I thought too. I don't He's think a little it is him. different. Maybe they're the people who are like their their parents and stuff. All right, we got a cage here. Those aren't bird cages. Some of them are disconcertingly large. <laughs> At least they're all empty. You sure that's a good thing? Not necessarily. We got this big crab. Is that a crab? It's the three armed crab. It's got a translucent exoskeleton. You can actually see its insides. Also, crabs normally have two claws, right? Right. And not three. Exactly. This is yeah. that extra claw. Are you sure we should be touching it? Um, Grimoire, don't you think it looks familiar? Yes. The limbs of the creature can be rotated and the claws can be opened and closed. All right, so we need to look in our book right so let's see this crab really reminds me of something right let's look at uh the book toy we found Maybe. yeah but i don't think that's going to help us i think i've seen it more recently right so let's look at our evidence right it was the children's book so we have one open this way all the way one close, and then they're both facing to the right, sort of. So let's see if we can get it to do that. Okay, so this is definitely up. It's like it's attacking. This is, uh, it's out this way a bit, right? Maybe like this? I feel like that one is up. I guess that's wrong. Okay. I don't think we need to guess. What do you mean? We have all the information we need in our case file. Right. We just can't access our case file very easily. Is it like this? Maybe it's like this. Maybe it is like that. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Oh. What What's is this? this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. It looks like a crossbow from here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, the pieces are starting to come together. What is it? You're right. So, the weapon. Was someone trying to hide it? From us? I don't know. But it looks incomplete to me. Right. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? I think we have them. We might have... We found them already? We found them already. All right, so right here, um, right here, we have what? At the tip, that's gonna be the arrow. That's over here, the metal rod. Okay, right here is the spool, which is where? The real thingy? I think that might attach the crossbow, but not this part oh, of the crossbow. Oh, whoops. It's gonna go on the bottom then. Um, what goes on the top? The lens? Right, okay. And then this goes on the bottom. If this was Hawkshaw's, does that mean this was hers? What do you make of it? Not sure. Let's keep an open mind. Okay. You don't think the crossbow is the murder weapon? Oh no, the crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't mean we've solved the mystery. Right, because whose is it? All right, what is this? Some kind of fish and a bird skull, I guess. Mm -hmm. If that's a bird skull, we're talking about a 15-foot bird here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of big. How about we stop talking about it? Oh, boy. We've got these hooks. Hooks. Big hooks. All right, this giant monster here. Dragon. Snake? Worm? That's the one. Oh, okay. What about these papers? Crumpled up paper. Is there anything written on any of it? Not really. It's mostly blank. Alright. We got weapons over here? An axe and some kind of hunting rifle. 
mounted on the wall. Honestly, it doesn't look like they've been moved in a few years. Right? I'm more worried about the third one. The one that, the crossbow. The third one? Right? The one that isn't there. That's the crossbow. Somebody came in here and took the crossbow. What is this paper? Coffee table, half empty wine bottle, lamp left on. Uh huh. That means somebody's been here I'm recently. I say someone's been using this room. Exactly. Someone complacent enough to leave their notebook lying around. Huh. Interesting. Several pages have been ripped out, but a few remain. Fifth Ambassador located finally. Can't say I harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. Took my misted friend into the music room for experiments. It works. Perhaps too well. That, okay, so the beetle is a misted? The laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? He's even more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the bottom. Nice view. It's been mostly cleaned out, but I have what I need. She got in. She was careful. Nothing was moved. But I know it's time. What even is that about? Huh. Let's look at the big obvious thing. Board. Hung up on one of the chains. Right? Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. Well, maybe we've got it. Let's see. Why is there a picture of Hawkshaw here? A large central sheet of paper has been pinned to it. Four lines have been drawn from a gap in the center. A smaller sheet underneath features drawing resembles the silhouette of a cloaked figure. That looks like Hawkshaw. Huh. That's definitely mm, disconcerting. What's out here? An incinerator built into the wall. It's still pretty hot. Hmm. Is there anything left inside? It's mostly ashes. Mostly? But yeah, there's something. What do we got? Uh, it's the ink tip feather. Not much more than a pile of dust and ashes. Among the ashes are several black buttons. Red colored scraps of fabric are still visible. What? There's also Someone's an ink dip. This room. Right. All right, Sally, let's let's go over it, the study. I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the mansion. Right? But nowadays it's some big secret. It's not right? a secret to everybody. Yeah, At some least people know it. About it still knows about this room. The way the notebook was left out on the table Makes me think it's someone who has the room all to themselves. Exactly. Whoever They're the was, only they one left who knows. More than just the notebook. There's a whole design project on this pin board. Feels like someone put quite a bit of effort into it. It's a shame there are things missing from it. I'm betting it'd make more sense if we could see it all together. That might not be impossible, you know. Okay. Let's see what we got. What would we be missing here? It's some sheet of paper. Do we have this? Right, right, right. Yup, okay. Then what goes here? Um, let's see what else we, oh, this, this, yes. Okay, I forgot all about that. All right, that's it. The painting from Freya's room and those right? sketches. Hmm. Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? Huh. What kind of sense does that make? I'm not sure. I don't think that's sure. why Freya made that painting. But it may have been why somebody took a photo of it. To Maybe? use as reference. And as for those sketches of Hawkshaw, I don't think Freya actually drew them. It was somebody else. Someone with less of a talent for art. Doesn't yeah, they exactly do look a little different. Should we go ask Detective Hawkshaw about all this? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not Still sure either. what's really going on. Right. Hmm. I'm very unsure of what to think now. The murder? I've got to figure this out. Time to solve this. Oh boy. So let's try and put everything together. Machinations of all murder. Right. Break out the notebook. Time to put <laughs> it all together. Oh let's boy. Start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow, and it matches Freya's wound. It's the murder weapon. I'm right? sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on it, and it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene. Mm -hmm. It was yes. cleaned, then it was hidden. I right. don't think anybody expected us to get down to that room at the bottom of the lake. 
Right. Okay, so Freya was shot by a crossbow. Where right. was it fired from? From the top. It was fired from above Freya. From that crack in the it attic. It was fired from above Freya. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. Yes. The attic. Perfect mm -hmm. hiding place. We even found a part of the murder weapon up there. The right. was used to pull the arrow back up through the crack in the floorboards. Yes. Explains why we never found a weapon at the crime scene, I guess. The murderer must have dropped the reel in the attic. I'm guessing they were in a hurry to escape. Probably. Wait. The arrow was fired through the crack in the floorboards? Yeah. It's directly above where Freya was found lying on her back. Nope. Doesn't add up. It would have missed her if she was still standing up by the painting. Ah, oh, but right. we know that. Unless... Unless she was knocked down, uh, unless Freya was already lying on her back. Freya was already lying on her back. Right, because she got knocked down from the beetle. I think so too. Uh, she'd fallen unconscious, I think. She'd fallen unconscious. Something in the room caused Freya to fall unconscious. Right. Uh, the gramophone. The gramophone. Right. But the gramophone by itself can't do that. Correct. The gramophone was, there was something in the gramophone. There was something in the gramophone. Mm-hmm. The something beetle. Something small. Mm-hmm. It was the golden beetle, right? Pointer's research says it can emit an incredibly loud hiss when it feels threatened. Okay. Poppy and Fitz both said they heard a loud noise around the time of the murder. Neither right. of them had any idea what it was. This seems a little far-fetched. Is it really loud enough to knock someone out? No, I don't think so, not by itself. But don't forget, it was being amplified by the shape of the gramophone. Right. Now, I don't think we're purely talking about volume either. It might just be a particular type of frequency. This That's is true. getting kind of scientific. Since when do you know anything about <laughs> the effects of weaponized audio frequency? I don't, but I think someone else does. Do you remember huh. that statue we found in the music room? The yes. hornet's playing. It's a pretty similar shape to the one on the gramophone. Yes, that and it also has a crack. Isn't there on accident. This is someone's science experiment. Right. Thinking about it, Pointer said he saw Flora was knocked out too. I guess they were both in range of the noise. Although right. Pointer might have been lying. Personally, I think he was telling the truth about that. It's pretty clear a powerful frequency did pass through Flora's tower caused quite a bit of damage too. Right, everything was cracked. What was affected by the powerful frequency? The tape? Those cracks didn't appear out of nowhere. Freya's paints, the pink cassette tape, and the gramophone itself. They right. all sustained similar everything damage was cracked. while they were in that room. That's some seriously powerful vibration. Enough exactly. to crack metal. Enough to knock someone out all the way across a room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the one thing I don't get. If the frequency was so powerful and had such a big range, how did the murderer pull it off? Wouldn't they have been in range too? Think about it. They can't have been much further away from the gramophone than Flora was. Hmm. They were knocked unconscious. They protected themselves. What did they protect themselves with? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe they rigged up. Maybe they weren't in the attic at all. But let's see what happens if we say they, they protected, protected themselves. themselves. How? How did they protect themselves? Um, what? Headphones? Maybe. Oh, the headphones. These are some pretty heavy duty earmuffs. Right. I think they'd be enough to block out the sound. Uh-huh. Right. Let's go over everything from the start. One. Freya is painting Flora's portrait right. while listening to music on the gramophone. Two, the murderer is hiding in the attic, wearing earmuffs. Right. Three, the golden beetle starts to emit its hissing noise. Hold on. Uh -huh. How did it know? The beetle? Yeah. What triggered it at that particular moment? Pointer's research said it makes the noise when it feels threatened. I'm uh, not hmm. sure. Maybe something in the music? Maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. Four. Freya and Flora are both knocked unconscious by the vibrations. Freya lands on her back. She drops the brush and palette by her side. Five. The murderer fires the crossbow directly downwards. Yeah? Six. The arrow is pulled back up on the reel. Seven. 
the murderer leaves the attic, presumably. Eight. The door is kicked down. Fitz and Poppy enter the room. Right. Hmm. That's it. There's something bothering me. What? Okay. I just want to check something. Let's go back to the crime scene. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. We're missing something. Let's see what we got here. He's not here anymore. Where is everyone? Let's let's look around. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. All right. So, what what can we figure out? This side's not finished. Uh, Flora appears to be wielding a knife. Freya added the blood to the painting herself. Her red paint was swapped out with blood. Flora's not holding a knife. She's adding a red and white inked up bird feather. All right. Um, look at this. Okay. This matches what we know. What about this plant it's not cracked it's in the book oh what? look oh the uh ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan even among avian mystids okay that plant okay let's look at the paints those are her cracked paints right Look at the paintbrush. Freya, did you leave us a clue? See. Um. What do we have? Some of them are swiped different ways. I don't know if that matters. Makes me wonder, but. Let's see. The missing clue. So what's bothering you? Something that's not here. The thing we didn't find. We know she was holding it during the painting. The Flora's feather. Ink dip feather. Right. It was here because it's in, in the incinerator. Room. We saw it. Where'd it go? It is it. We found it somewhere else. We found it somewhere else. Yeah. It was in the incinerator. Um. So where is it now? Is it one of these? No. It was in the burnt items. Right. We were a little right too there. late to save it. So it was stolen from the crime scene. Yes. And ended up in the incinerator down in the study. Mm -hmm. Someone wanted to destroy it, I guess. But how? How was it stolen from up here in Flora's tower? Presumably, Flora dropped it when she fell unconscious. Okay. Yeah. And then what? The murderer couldn't have stolen it if they were up in the attic. So the question uh, okay. is, how could they steal something from a room they weren't able to access? Hmm. Did they train the, the beetle to do it? About the crime scene, Freya left it for us right here. Um, it's in the unfinished painting. It's in the unfinished painting. It's not quite a photo, but still. It's an image of the crime scene recorded just before the murder. Right. I wish she'd finished it. And then I could be totally sure. It's that true she never gone. finished it. But she did intend to finish it. Meaning? We know more about the painting than what Freya actually got down on the canvas. Okay. How did she show us her intentions for the painting? Was it the palette? Maybe? I'm gonna try the palette, because, I mean, I don't know. It, it shows the colors. Freya prepared all the colors she was going to need before right. she started painting. Right. Okay. So, um, was a mistake by Freya because dripped onto the canvas from was added by the murderer, so isn't actually paint because was going to be used to paint something needed to be used to paint this right 
Ink dip feather. The potted plant. The sketch. Which Flora had lost. Of something sitting in the window. It's not there anymore. That plan is not there. Uh, the, the black paint? The brown and gray paint? Maybe brown and gray. It's the same color as that. Right? Because we got black, white, uh, the blood, the brown and gray, the paintbrush handle. I think it's brown and gray. That's what color that is, right? We can't do anything else. It's got to be this. Brown and gray paint was going to be used to paint the sketch of something sitting in the window. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay. We got so many brown and grays. The yellow paint. Yellow paint. The black paint. What was gonna what was it gonna be used for? Yellow? Maybe? The yellow paint oh, is going okay. to be used to paint. Because yeah, the there's no yellow in the painting. Something sitting in the window. Right. Something in the window. The oh. beetle! Oh, she was going to paint the beetle. The golden beetle. That's not it. Really? What was she going to paint? Let's look at it. What was she going to paint? I'm kind of running out of ideas of what it could be. Um, The yellow bird. Oh... It was you. Penny. Uh-huh. There she is. Our little thief. Yep. How long has it been there? Did it hear the whole conversation? Oh, boy. She did. Uh-oh. But she's a very good listener. Uh-oh. Uh Um well now. I think this has quite served its purpose, don't you? Um Oh. Oh, Penny. Why did you It's Penelope, if you don't mind. But oh boy. Before we begin, isn't there a certain formality demanding our attention? Um Tie her hands, leave her untied. Um, if we tie her hands, she'll just use her bird to do whatever she needs. Let's leave her untied. I'm afraid I have to insist. It's to the benefit of us all, I assure you. Okay. Why? Something sturdy to tie her hands with? The real? Lovely. Now, tell me, what was it that drove you this far? I'm ever so curious. Uh, justice for Freya? I just need to know the truth. I wanted to help Freya's friends. Um, what drove us this far? I mean, we're a detective because, you know, we, we believe in what's right, right? Justice for Freya. Is that right? Interesting. Why did you do it, Penny? What did Freya do to you? Absolutely nothing. So, um, what? You just hated her indiscriminately? Freya Fellow was an inspiration to us all. She was possessed of a great energy. The volition to create something from nothing. The willpower to walk beyond her boundaries. Huh. She was truly free. Everything couldn't be um you know what? what i just realized i actually have no idea who penelope pointer really is yeah Weird, isn't it considering we've met her what is it three times now exactly how do we know this one isn't a disguise too um you think you've already hollowed us out don't you only what? a few short hours at tangle tower and you feel like you've got 
everyone sussed. Unearthed um, every single one of our secrets. Obviously not. Bullet points for your notebook. Go on, indulge me. What does it say in your notes about Penelope Pointer? Um, it says she's lonely. <laughs> Suppose I can't argue with that, can I? Penny, we only know what you choose to tell us, so why not help us out? Very well. Penelope Pointer is actually not very important at all. She pales in comparison to those who came before her and to those that came after. Yeah, because people Living made her feel that way, tower, right? It is very difficult to attain the levels of self-realization you probably take for granted. Um, you sure this is a Tangled Tower thing and not a you thing? Perhaps you didn't notice. Not one of them is happy. Not one. Mm. So why stay? Why not just leave? Right. But she did leave. Penny, you said you traveled, didn't you? I did. Many times I've walked away. It did not help me. Um. You saw the family tree hanging in the Grand Hall, did you not? Yes. Yeah, it lists a bunch of people who don't live here anymore. A bunch of people who don't live here anymore. I couldn't right? have put it better myself. She's so my bitter. Mother, for one, my father, too. The other two, Remingtons, Poppy's mother, Primrose, and her brother, Richard. And Fitz's father. That's five. Mm -hmm. Five people that might have lived here, but don't. And that was the first question I wanted answered. Why don't they you live here anymore? Where they'd all gone? More than that. I wanted to know if I belonged with them. I have no okay. place here. Not among the fellows, the Remingtons, or the Pointers. But I felt there must be a reason why everyone else left. Some um. common purpose they all share. Perhaps it okay. could be my purpose too. So, what did you actually do about it? Nothing I could do, at first. Nobody would tell me anything. The more questions hmm. I asked, the fewer answers I got. Then, I found it. I was 19. What? Same age Freya is now. Uh -huh. Found what? The attic? Well, we already know she has the aviary. It's gotta be the study, right? The study? The one hidden in the middle of the house. Right? It's right next to a bedroom. Mm -hmm. I hear voices at night. Deep ones. And the strangest thing, the wall behind my bed would get incredibly hot. The furnace. For hours on end. The paint would peel. Wallpaper wouldn't stay up. I thought I was cursed. I thought it was something. Hmm. That was the incinerator on the other side. Through. Eventually, yeah, I, I can see that. I found my way in the same way you did. Once you know it's there, it's simple. So, you got into the study and found the incinerator. That must have been a relief, right? It was still warm when I found it. Then, hmm. I looked inside. What was inside? The air Let's of misted mansion. Let's see how thorough you've been. Tell me, do you know what a misted is? Misted? Okay, um... Sure. Mistids? Sure, yeah. Hmm. You're more observant than I thought. Sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's a collective term from before my time. Birds, hmm? insects, amphibians, anything living off the lake water. The mutation can take several generations, right? Or it can happen overnight. Wait, mistids. Like cryptids. Right? Uh, like Bigfoot or whatever. A little egregious, isn't it? <laughs> I suspect that was an intentional parallel. The main difference being mistids are perfectly real. They're just kept secret. Mm -hmm. Or at least, that was the original plan. As what it happened, happened, some got out. Quite okay. a few got out. How do you know all this? When I entered the study at 19, I found a single object that rather changed my life. Something which answered my questions while at once creating all new ones. What was it? What did she find? Did she find the golden beetle? Maybe? What did she find? 
answering her questions. Uh, she found this? Maybe? The five missing family members standing oh. together as a single unit. Calling oh. themselves the ambassadors of Misted Mansion. So oh. the house was renamed from Misted Mansion to Tangle Tower? And rightly so. The age of Misted Mansion is long past. When I looked inside the incinerator on my first visit to the study, I found nothing but ash. The afterimage of a bygone era denied to me in its entirety. The study, the room at the bottom of the lake, the lake itself, all empty shells. I felt my only hope lay with the ambassadors. If I could find them, maybe, maybe they'd share the family history that Flora and the others were trying so hard to forget. How maybe? How did you track them down? It was tough. They'd taken almost everything. Books, okay. maps, charts. Right. Creatures themselves, all lost, taken away or destroyed. But I got hmm. lucky. I got a lead. I found one, and he led me to the rest. And what happened? Why do you paint out all their faces? They didn't help you either, did they? Nineteen-year-old me had imagined they'd all left with a mission. A unified purpose. But they hadn't. They were, in fact, every bit as fractured as the people that still live here. Most uh -huh. of them had left tracking escaped mystics. Some claimed to be researchers, others researchers? little more than hunters. All five, completely useless to me. <laughs> Even your own parents? Especially my own Eventually, parents? Eventually, I returned <laughs> to Tangle Tower. I had nowhere else to go. I considered giving up. But instead, I made a decision. All right, a lowly There was only one person at Tangle Tower still of interest to me. My dear Uncle Pointer had suddenly made a show of taking up astronomy. Okay. A fairly superficial charade. I don't think many people were fooled by it. But I knew it wasn't just a falsehood. It was a mask. Pointer had found something. Something from the era of Mr. Dimension. Mm -hmm. That was the beetle. That was the beetle. So where did he get the beetle? I cannot be sure. But I theorized that he received it in the post. In the post? From who? Who can say? Someone outside Tangle Tower. But the thought that he would be in contact with such a person. All that time, I decided to take what was owed to me. So you stole eh? it. Stealing the beetle turned out to be only the first step. Upon realizing it was gone, Pointer made little effort to disguise his frustration. I asked what was bothering him. He foresaw no risk in sharing a little of the truth with his niece. He told hey. me he'd lost a rare treasure, something he'd been keeping safe. I suggested, innocently, that perhaps it was not lost. Perhaps it had been stolen. He was very oh. ready to believe he'd been the victim of theft. <laughs> when I offered to call in a private detective... He jumped on the idea. Oh she boy. arrived the next day. Of Hawkshaw course, prides herself on Hawkshaw. punctuality, as you know. Why, though? Why go through all that? The name, the costume, and everything? It's somewhat sad to admit, but I had little use left for Penny Pointer as she was. Hawkshaw afforded me new advantages. Opportunities. But didn't you have to pretend to be working for Professor Pointer? Yeah, I guess uh, well, so. That was one of the advantages. Pointer was in such a desperate state, he was finally willing to share some of his secrets. Yeah, I on guess the second so. Day, Hawkshaw explained she needed to be able to search the secret laboratory. Pointer gave in and gave me the code for the harp statue. Reluctantly, okay. but still. So, you stole Pointer's research? I would have done, if I'd found anything worth stealing. But he had made remarkably hmm. little progress barely scratching the surface of the beetle's true mystery. Right. Which is? Ha! <laughs> it carries an exoskeleton approximately 90% identical to gold. Okay, but yeah, we figured 90 that. 90% I'm interested in. What's the other 10%? Did you ever question what exactly makes the water here so unique? Before Misted Mansion was built over the lake, before the lake was even 
a lake. Lord Remington and his wife built a small structure here. A research okay. station, supposedly. Fast forward two or three generations. And? and as you saw for yourself, it's been mostly cleared out. The ambassadors right, took right. everything when they left. And everything they didn't take was burned in the incinerator. However, yeah, okay, that makes possessing sense. Possessing additional insight, I found something the others had missed. It's not much, but I have what I need. What is it? So, why isn't this the end of the story? Why did you stay? Why did you kill Freya? Did she? I don't know. The will of Freya Fella. Okay. Let's see what this is about. The will of Freya. Simply put, Freya was too good for me. It's my fault. I pushed her over the edge. Unknowingly, but still, I take the blame. What are you talking about? Exactly. Did you know I based the design for Hawkshaw on something Freya painted? Yeah, we, we figured that part out. The photo. That's right. I had assumed it was purely abstract. I just thought it had a good energy. I later discovered it was a figure of some kind. Something from Freya's recurring nightmare. For all oh. her vitality. I think Freya was probably the most troubled of all of us. She was desperate to leave Tangle Tower. But she hmm. couldn't just walk away. For quite some well, time, she'd been not? trying to break into Pointer's laboratory. Freya okay. and her friends were halfway through deciphering those symbols on the harp statue, I believe. Okay. Why did she care about getting into Pointer's lab? That's exactly what beetle? I wondered. At first, I thought perhaps she just wanted to free the beetles. She has a fondness for them. What right. Pointer was doing upset her significantly. But in fact, I think it was something else. I think she wanted to free Fiona. The real okay. reason Freya was unable to leave Tangle Tower is that she could not get Fiona to agree to come with her. Mm. We're now okay. firmly in the realm of speculation, but I think Freya felt that exposing the darker secrets of Tangle Tower, not just to the rest of the family, but to the world, would compromise all three families. And perhaps and they'd have to leave somehow. Free Fiona from the shackles of her inheritance. Maybe. That was her plan anyway. But something happened. Before Freya could find her way into Pointer's laboratory. She what found happened? her way into your study. Found your notes. Found that photograph. I'm willing to bet she put it all together quicker than we did. So she worked out what had happened to the five ambassadors. Specifically what you'd done to them when they refused to help you. Oh. Freya had made a promise to paint Flora as a birthday gift, a parting gift, no less. Mm -hmm. She'd be in a locked room, several hours away from her friends. It was my best chance. But why hide? In okay, the so and she knew. And why bother knew... with the beetle at all? She knew the that beetle in the Penny had killed wasn't them for Freya. It was her Flora. She didn't deserve to be involved. She suffered enough. I couldn't get Flora out of her room. But if she could be unconscious, oh, then she wouldn't have okay. to witness anything. Why the knife? The illusion of the painted knife with the blood. That was for Fiona. And Poppy too, I suppose. Gave them something to focus on. You mean it distracted them while you made your escape? It helped them cope. The very idea of something abstract, something supernatural. I believe it made things marginally less painful for them. Maybe. Initially. Worked on you, too. So why are you still here? Why not take your first chance and leave? Ah, well, I've been waiting for an opportunity to get my beetle back. But I'd really rather not leave without it. Wait, it's still here? It's uh -oh. still inside the gramophone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now we understand what happened. Oh man. Oh man. 
Well. <laughs> well then. We're waking What's up from our on? unconsciousness. Poppy, they are both awake. I can see. You two, all right? Well, my head hurts. What happened to us? You are both unconscious. 14 minutes by my count. Really? Mm -hmm. You're both fine. No injuries. Was it the beetle? In the gramophone? I heard it through the ceiling in my room. The exact same sound we heard before the murder. Mm -hmm. I guess it must have been. So how did we get down here? What happened to Penny? Fit saved both of you, obviously. When I reached Flora's tower, you were both unconscious, and Penny was crouched down beside you. She had her crossbow on her. But who knows? She may have just been checking you were both asleep. Did you Maybe? know she, uh, that she was the murderer? Poppy and Fifi suspected her. Apparently, they were pretty close to solving it themselves. Uh -huh. Fitz did not want to believe us, because he liked Penny a lot. <laughs> but what happened? Fitz, what did she do when she saw you? She jumped out the window. What? Did she survive? She did. I heard something land in the garden outside my room. But oh. by the time I got out there to check, she was already gone. Hang on. Huh. Poppy, why do you have Penny's hat bird? She left him behind. I found him sitting on the floor in the aviary, all by um, himself. Okay. Poor little thing. The mean lady didn't care about you at all, did she? <laughs> no, she didn't. I apologize. Poppy seems to be under the illusion that the bird can understand human language. Um, I thought so, the bird was alive. Away. I'm afraid she did. We had suspected she might try to escape. I was stationed here by the lake's edge. I proved to be an ineffective guard. Aww. She took the boat. Did she take the beetle with her? Nope. How do you know? Because it's right here. Oh. It was still in the gramophone. I guess I scared her off before she had a chance to take it. <laughs> oh, well. Poppy, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to give it back to your father? No, I'm not. Mm, okay. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, I'm going to put it on the ground. And, and let it run off? It again. Okay. I think that's what she would have wanted. Oh, man. Well... That was, uh, that was quite an interesting little mystery there. I, I'm still digesting all of that, man. I, okay, so Penny had to kill Freya because she knew that Penny had killed the five founders when they wouldn't help her. Is that, that's the story that we're hearing here, I think. So, and this whole thing was just about everybody feels trapped and i don't know i feel like even if they have their secrets like the others were you know i mean they had they may have had their problems but they were adjusting they were doing things uh i mean everyone has their issues but you just gotta work through them and i don't think penny was able to work through them she just was too focused on the negative and it just went into a downward spiral my Mr. Beetle. It just flies off. Where is it going to go to? Nobody knows. <laughs> and then we fade to black. All right. Well, that was amazing. I absolutely love that. It definitely did not disappoint. We got a little stuck there at the end. Some of the options were not quite as intuitive as some of the others. But we still managed to follow along. Um, we did have some of our original theories correct. Although I, I have to admit the whodunit reveal at the end completely surprised me. Did not expect that. So yeah, it was interesting seeing how everything pieced together. And this one was a lot more complex and uh all the pieces were more interwoven i think than detective grimoire was the the original one that i played but man i hope they make some more of these games because i absolutely love them this is an excellent game 
And if you liked this content and you would like to see more, then please make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. If you want to watch live, we're on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 27 I have my schedule posted in the about and in the description. And if you want to see which games we're playing each day, I post them on x.com slash 27 And I hope you join me in the next one. Until then, guys. Bye.